Welcome to my channel. I um, mean, this video you're gonna see my, you know, digital art process of these two characters who are characters from the app game called AFK Arena. They are both very powerful and difficult to get and level up. And they're both on the opposite spectrum of evil and good or demonic and angelic. So one day I was just sitting around and you know playing the app game and I was reading about these two characters and they struck me as very very in interesting characters and I was just thinking um, you know based on what I read I just figured I would do a kind of a art to depict how I kind of see them in a way so let's start with uh, Mehira. Mehira is the demon one with the horn and everything. I'm based on the app game. I'm going to tell you a little bit about, you know, synopsis and how she comes to be. Essentially, Mehira is like a succubus. She basically seduces people. Basically, Mehira sends proclivities in individuals of not even them they're aware of. Um, she plays on their subconscious impulses, plucking every strands of shameful desires that they they, they can think of or may not even aware of and then she bends them to a will and you know does manipulates them however she feels um, no amount of worldly status um, can regardless of whatever wealth or how powerful anyone is no one has been able to withstand the shadow in which she cast over all living beings she has almost immeasurable power she craves challenges. She seeks to accomplish greater and greater things. However, the ease at which people fall into temptation, the ease at which she can enslave everybody, the simplicity of that process makes her so bored that she's right currently she's almost forgotten the pleasures she gained from it until one day she encountered a very unusual subject and once again, she started to feel a twing of curiosity and even danger. I'm not exactly sure who exactly she met. Probably one of the heroes in the game. Um, since I don't know who she met and uh, the metadata in the game did not exactly specify who she met, I decided to make a Thalia. The person that sparked that sense of curiosity and danger in her and you know brought up the craving of challenge once again. Athalia is she's described as a living weapon. She was once a mortal woman but after being ascended by Dura, Dura is I believe the god of the setting and she was made into a demigod to serve in the celestial order. She wields incredible power as well. Um, she finds Duro's kindness for mortals perplexing, which is often the case with these godlike stories where the other god, gods created by the super god are jealous of human beings because their father, you know, is somewhat obsessed with model creatures that don't have any power um, so because since you know humans are often dishonorable and hateful and whatever and Dura would always find ways to forgive their transgression um, she just sometimes felt jealousy not of humans but of the sentiments that Dura had for models so after Dura's death I believe it was somehow related to uh, mortals. Um, the the literature didn't really go into details on his death or her death. Dura is not. I don't know if it's female or male. Um, however, she remembered the most important that she had to do, which is the preservation of the light, uh, which is what Dura stands for, the light, um, which for her it is the highest calling, and um, the pitiful humans that she hates in her bores um their their lives are uh, uh she describes their life as short and pity and pitiful 
but they are instrumental to the preservation of the light. However, she herself was created as an executioner as well as an educator, and her viewpoint is right and wrong, black and white. There is no gray, and evil, according to her, must be expunged, must be completely destroyed. She believes herself to be justice, and she believes she can never be judged by anybody or anything that exists. So, after reading this literature, I was like, okay, she cannot be judged. So, what happens if she goes in a battle with Mehira and she loses? What is she gonna do? Is she gonna kill herself? I mean, she's a demigod; she can't really kill herself. So I decided to come up with a art, with a art depicting Mehira's tail on her neck, showing some sort of uh, superiority in her submitting to Mehira, and because of she abhors, she hates, she she sees everything as black and white. There is no gray. I was I was just like thinking, what is she feeling right now? Like what is she totally feeling right now? I decided to depict that in uh, tears of blood or something like that. And if you look closely, she's biting her lower lips, and like she is angry. She is she cannot believe what's going on. Thanks again for watching. Um, I hope you've enjoyed my little story on these two characters and why I decided to depict them in the way that you're seeing them right now. Um, right now, I'm just gonna let you all enjoy the rest of the video and please, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment um, on what you think about both characters if you're playing the game or if you're not just general discussion on the characters um, it helps me it motivates me to you know keep doing what i'm doing thanks again and i hope you enjoy the rest of the video enjoy your day and stay safe